This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Jennifer Beal from the African American Museum of Iowa. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Nice to see you. As uh, fall approaches, a new temporary exhibit is coming up, and the topic is hair. Yes, we are opening up a new exhibit, Untangling the Roots, which is exploring the culture of black hair, um, all the way from uh, Western Africa before the slave trade started, up until modern hairstyles and issues of cultural appropriation and um, natural hairstyles in the workplace. We're exploring all of that. Wow. Yeah. That's a uh, <laughs> you, you. There's a lot to unpack. Yes. There. So um, as things are kind of coming together, I, we don't want to. We want people to go to the exhibit and mm -hmm. not get spoiled too much. But uh, so starting in West Africa, tell me a yes. little bit about that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be exploring that history a little bit, kind of what um, women in particular. There is a, a little bit of discussion about men's hairstyles as well, but most of it is going to be um, conversations around women's hairstyles. So there's going to be a little bit about that. Um, there's going to be an interactive activity where you can actually um, make a Western African style hair covering. So that should be a nice hands-on way to engage with that history. And then uh, it goes on from there and explores a lot of American history and specifically Iowa history as well, since we do try to dive into the African American history of Iowa and all of our exhibits. And you were telling me before we began, mm -hmm. there's a very cool local component, some oral history that is right here in the Cedar Rapids area. Yes, uh, some of the students from the Iowa Big Program did an oral history interview uh, with the three generations of women who own uh, Frida's Hair Salon that's uh, near the, the Newbo area in the Oak Hill Jackson neighborhood. Uh, yeah, and so we have that video component that people will be able to watch that and learn about some of Iowa's local hair history. And you've got a partnership with Hancher that's uh, involved with yes. this, too. Yes, uh, they are going to be, um, so the Urban Bushwoman Dance Troupe is coming to Hancher in September to do a performance of Hair and Other Stories. Uh, so during our exhibit opening on September 7th, we're actually going to be doing a drawing for two tickets to that performance. And uh, those uh, dancers from that group will also be doing a, a performance at the museum. Um, unfortunately, reservations for that are sold out. <laughs> Tickets went quick. They did. They went very quickly. Um, but if people want, they can visit our website for a link where they can uh, go to the wait list. It's blackiowa.org. So you can visit that for some more information. The I'm sure that the, the exhibit isn't quite up yet. Uh, yes. <laughs> I know that it's still being put together, but I'm sure you've had a chance to, you know, look at some of the pieces as they're coming yes. uh, together. So tell me about some of the highlights that you find particularly yeah. engaging. Yeah, um, well, I know today they're actually installing some large murals that's happening, so I'm excited to go check that out when I'm done with this interview and take some photos of that. Um, one of the more recent things that I saw our curator, Felicity, putting in is a, a case of wigs that display some African-American hairstyles, kind of exploring the, um, from some different eras as well as more modern hairstyles. And that's actually being placed next to the Beauty Bar Interactive that's going to be there. So there's oh, actually going okay. to be some mannequin heads where you can um, practice doing your own hairstyling. <laughs> Uh, what other things going on at the museum this fall? Obviously, yeah. the new exhibit is the big thing, yes. getting that ready to go. But mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the other activities. Yes, yeah, so you're we also in. have our History Makers Gala coming up on October uh, October third. That's a Thursday evening, um, and that's our big annual fundraiser. So people can come out, help support the museum, uh, and we will also be honoring um, four individuals who have been nominated as History Makers. Uh, so they're people who have made important impacts in their community. And uh, as we get closer to the gala, we're going to be featuring each of them individually on our social media. And then we also have uh, Simon Estes is going to be our lifetime honoree winner. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, so we're very excited to have him be part of it. So probably not too early to make reservations oh, and get no. tickets for that. Yes, tickets are available. You can either buy individual tickets or um, if you have a group coming, you can buy a table of 10. And that's available on our website as well. And again, the Untangling Our Roots exhibit opens September seventh. All right, and yes. uh, uh, tickets to the Urban Bushwoman will be uh, you'll be doing a drawing for that. Yes, we will, and giving people the first look at the exhibit. Mm -hmm. If people want more information about the these two things that we talked about, or anything to do. Uh, with the museum. Again, the website is blackiowa.org. And then they can also follow, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We post updates there regularly as well. All right. Jennifer, thanks for coming in yeah, today. Thanks for and having good me. luck with the opening. Thank Sounds you. like a lot of fun. Yeah, it should be. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020 or download and watch the video podcast at the time of your choosing at kcck.org slash culture 
or using your favorite podcast aggregator. I'm Dennis Green.